Your ledger account tracks everything you've ever learned in units called EduBlocks. Each EduBlock represents one hour of learning in a particular subject. Anyone can grant EduBlocks to anyone else. You can earn EduBlocks from a formal institution like a school or your workplace. But you can also earn them from individuals or informal groups like a community center or an app. The ledger makes it possible for you to get credit for learning that happens anywhere, even when you're just doing the things you love. Your profile displays all the EduBlocks you've earned. Employers can use this information to offer you a job or a gig that matches your skills. We'll keep track of all the income your skills generate and use that data to provide feedback on your courses. When choosing a subject to study in the future, you may wish to choose the subject whose students are earning the most income. You can also use the ledger to find investors in your education. Since the ledger is already tracking income earned from each EduBlock, you can offer investors a percentage of your future income in exchange for free learning hours. Our smart contracts make these agreements easy to manage and administer. The ledger is built on blockchain, the same technology that powers Bitcoin and other digital currencies. That means every EduBlock that has ever been earned is a permanent part of the growing public record of our collective learning and working. Always learning, always earning. That's my motto. I try to learn something new every month, but it ain't easy. I'm a freelance delivery driver, so my schedule isn't steady. One thing that helps, I love to read. So I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I'm driving. Memoirs, history, philosophy. Oh, and I got that app that gives you blocks whenever you finish a book. I'm part of a learning group, a bunch of other drivers I met on a forum. We all take turns teaching the group. Sometimes we add blocks to our profiles, but it isn't really about that. It's more like Ledger has opened up people's eyes to the fact that teachers are everywhere. I started teaching last summer right after the federal government announced the Pay It Forward program. You know about that, right? If you have federal student loans from college, you can pay them down by teaching someone else what you learned. Whatever blocks you earned in school, you can teach them to others. The University of Texas, that's where I did my degree, they report all my college credits directly into the ledger, so I'm pre-approved to teach any subject I passed. Like virtual reality programming. If I can teach someone that course, I get $2,500 off my debt. I use the same textbook that I used in college, and I Skype with them three times a week to answer questions and help them with their coding assignments. Sooner or later, most people find themselves at a point in their learning where they need to make a decision. Do you go for the traditional college degree or build your own higher education? That's the kind of tough choice that a lot of young people are facing right now. Yes, I won! This is Texas Fold'em. It's one of those protein folding simulators where you learn how proteins work inside the human body. And you can help solve puzzles for science. Every time you solve a puzzle, you earn this biochemistry edge you block. And the better you get at it, the harder the puzzles get. Well, I guess I got pretty good at protein folding because one day this trophy showed up and they started giving me super hard puzzles working on these mind-blowing structures that even the real scientists haven't figured out yet. But wait a minute. I'm one of the real scientists now actually because I'm not just earning edu blocks now, they're also paying me for every puzzle I solve. This game is sort of like my first class in biochemistry and it's also my first job. We used to have this concept of entry-level jobs. You would start with a company and then you could move your way up. That's how I started here. We hardly have any full-time jobs here. We mostly hire on a project basis. We check their ledgers and if their credentials match our needs, then we'll put them in the hiring pool. Of course, relationships are still important and we still help people grow. They're earning edge blocks with every hour of work they put in. Why 
why give someone a generic test when you can actually evaluate their work in a real world context? When you log into a verification site, it gives you a task, a chance to demonstrate your proficiency in a real world context. You can write some copy, translate some text, design a logo, grade an essay. This is actually how most pay it forward verification works these days and pretty much any credentialing that you do on informal learning. You're even paid for your time. Not the going rate, more like minimum wage. When did anyone ever get paid for taking a final exam? Every project we hire for, we don't just list the monetary compensation. We also list exactly how many edu blocks in which skill areas will grant you. That way, your work here counts as learning for your next gig. When it's my turn to teach, I take it really seriously. Because for me, learning has always been the one thing that's connected everything else in my life. Where I've been, where I'm going. I may not know where that is yet, but I know I won't be a driver forever. And when I get there, I know I'll still be learning.